Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Face Off Friday. We've got a good one for you today. We've got the brand new Bowman Mega Box, which just came out on the shelves last week. And we are going to put this up against the 2020 Bowman Mega Box from last year. And going back two years, this is a really hot box. Some really nice players in this one. 2019 Bowman Mega Boxes. All together here, we have over $300 worth of boxes. This one goes for about $150 on eBay. This one's about $100 on eBay. And I paid, I think, $75 for this one on eBay. Yes, I, I can't find retail, so I had to to bite the bullet and uh, pay for that one. But hopefully we can find some good stuff that's going to be worth well more than what these boxes go for. We're looking for some great cards. Now, the way this is going to work, it's Face Off Friday. We're going to determine which box is the best. Now, obviously, 2019 has the best prospect class. That's why it's the most. So this is the best box you can buy. But however, we're taking these individual boxes and, and we're going to see which one's going to win. And the way I determine that is I take out the top five cards from each box, lay them on the screen, and then we decide which one's going to be the winner. I'll tell you right now, I guess I'm going to uh, play the odds here. I'm going to pick 2019 as the winner. I, th I think if we pull the Wan Wander Franco out of there, um, first Bowman or maybe a J-Rod, that's going to do it for us. But we'll see. Maybe we'll find an autograph of a really good prospect, and that will end up swaying my vote one way or the other. So let me know in the comments right now which box do you think is going to win. and uh, Or you can wait until we're done and tell me which box you thought was going to win, and then what bo box ultimately won in your opinion. Sometimes we can't agree on this, and sometimes it's clear cut. But anyway, let's bring in our sponsor, Todd, is going to get all the cards from these boxes. Uh, Todd is a Patreon member. If you'd like to become a Patreon member, it's three dollars per month. Gets you access to our breaks and video sponsorships like this one, and also higher tiers get monthly packs and or boxes sent to you each and every month. Link is down in the description to this video. All right. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. It's the Mega Box. I've never opened one of these before, so I'm pretty excited about this. There's 50 total cards. If you Compare that to the other boxes, um, it's still 50 total cards, so they haven't cut any cards out of the boxes, which is great news. And I believe you still get those silver mojo packs in there, which is um, one of the main reasons that people love these Megas so much. So let's go ahead and get started. There it is, two exclusive five chrome packs. All right, I bet you a lot of the uh, top five might be coming out of those packs. Let's see what we can find. There's the security sensor in there. I always hate it when uh, I buy cards at Walmart or Target and they forget to uh, scan it slowly enough so it deactivates the sensor and then I set off the system. Going out the door probably happens like uh, at least 40% of the time. All right, so we have two Mega Box exclusive. These are the Silver Mojo, the Silver Parallels. And uh, let's go ahead and check out our Bowman packs and see what we've got. All right, so Max Kepler leads things off. You've seen us open a bunch of Bowman already on the channel, so you know what's in here. We've got a Trick Scooball, and look at that. All right, so we've got a number one card already. It's Blaze Jordan, and it is his first Bowman Chrome. I, I don't know what prices are now on his card. Sometimes when Bowman first comes out, cards will be super high then they'll slowly kind of adjust to where they should be i'm gonna guess that card's worth at least 30 dollars by itself i'm gonna guess right around there 25 to 30 bucks my guess on the blaze jordan chrome so that's gonna be uh at least in the top five for sure we've got an ian anderson rookie card we've got nick madrigal rookie card garrett crochet rookie card now, those base paper rookies, they're usually worth a little bit. Junior Severino first, Chrome, Nick Gonzalez, Carson Tucker, and Robert Hassel, who's a nice prospect. Two more packs of the regular Bowman, then we'll get to the Mojo parallels. There's Jose Altuve, Pete Alonso, there's Manny Machado, facing a five-game suspension, Luis Garcia, Sixto Sanchez, nice one right there. If you saw our break last night, we had a weird situation with Sixto Sanchez. We found an error card in our Diamond Kings break. There's Gilbert Sanchez, Emerson Hancock, Cade Cavalli, and Ellie Harris Montero. So we got Blaze Jordan. Can we find an Austin Martin? Wouldn't that be something? That would be another Blaze Jordan. It's the base paper this time, which is probably worth, what's that worth? 10, 15 bucks, somewhere in there. I'm not exactly sure what they go for, but that's a pretty nice card right there. So we got a couple Blaze Jordans. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost knocked over the camera. Sorry for scaring everybody. 
uh, kind of reached over the camera there to put that on there because my hands were filled with cards over here. Sorry about that. Put that on the blooper reel. All right, so these are going to probably have the uh, the best cards in here, the most valuable. Let's see. Looks like we may have a maybe a parallel. I see some teal down there. Jeremy De La Rosa, first Bowman. That is a great card. Look at this. Jeremy De La Rosa and Blaze Jordan as well. Which one's worth more? I, I do not know, but, the, well, we can just bump these. It's the Blaze Jordan show right now. Uh, Riley Green, Vidal Bruyon, and Nolan Gorman. All right, so, man, I know Jeremy De La Rosa. I'm pretty sure he's a pretty good prospect. That might be worth a good. Jared Kelnick's on the back. Frankie Alvarez is a great prospect. George Kirby, we've got Ian Anderson. Andy Volpe is another one. And Jared Kelnick. So I'm going to go with this as my top five. You can let me know if I'm wrong. I'm going to go with Blaze Jordan, number one. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go with Jeremy De La Rosa, two. I'm going to go with Blaze Jordan, Chrome is three. Kelnick's not a first, so I'm going to go with that as four. And then the base is number five. A pretty darn good box right there. I'll try to go ahead and... Straighten those up for you on the screen so you can clearly see that's my pick for the top five. You can let me know if you think I missed anything, which, you know, sometimes with prospects I will miss them because I mostly focus on MLB, but that was a darn good box right there. Three Blaze Jordans. How about that? No Austin Martins, but that's okay. I know Todd has got to be pretty happy with that lineup coming out of that first box. So now let's go into our second box in this Face Off Friday. It's last year's. Uh, Bowman Mega Box from 2020. Of course, last year, the big hubbub was all surrounding Jason Dominguez. But there's some other great prospects in here as well. Maybe we'll find Bobby Witt. Maybe we'll find Robert Powelson, Ed Howard. We'll see. Maybe some uh, MLB rookie cards in here. Of, of course, guys like Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, and so on. I think Luis Robert has a rookie card in this set. Here we go. There's the Yordi uh, right there. All right, 50 cards. We'll start with our base cards first. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. I hope that if you haven't already, you'll hit that subscribe button. And also, hit the thumbs up button while you're at it. And there's a little bell. If you turn that bell to all, every time I post a video go live, you'll get a notification in the YouTube app. app. There's Jesus Sanchez, Dustin May rookie card. We'll go ahead and throw that one down in the maybe pile along with the Trent Grisham. So what do we got next? It's going to be pack number two. There's Aaron Judge. He's been on fire lately. Mookie Betts, George Springer. You might say, why aren't you taking out Judge and Betts? Those guys are awesome. We're trying to go by value here to see the most viable cards. Hey, look at this. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. A nice one right there. That is definitely going to be in the top five. A Bobby Witt Jr. Tops Chrome first. Got to love that one. So, Todd, you're getting all the good rookies and or good first Bowmans. Uh, congratulations on that hit. And uh, the good stuff's always in those mojos. So, let's see what we've got coming up next. There's Logan Allen rookie card, Justin Dunn rookie, and Byron Laura first, as well as just hanging out in there. How about that? That's definitely going to be in my top five. He was the guy everyone was chasing after last year. There's Wander Franco. It's not his first, though, so I'm going to pass it on by. Um, you know what? Maybe it will sneak in at the, in the five spots. So I better put it in the maybe pile. Matt Libitor and Brian Reynolds' last card in pack number three. We've got one more pack to go. Tomorrow, by the way, on Saturday, we have for you... Our Saturday showdown will be back with Tier 1, a whole case of Tier 1. There's a Dylan Cease. So there's 36 total cards in there. They're all numbered. Somebody's coming away with all of them. Hey, look, there's Alec Baum. He needs to really get going this year. Daniel Lynch, Kenny Cavaco, and that's going to... Zach that Gallon, pretty nice player. I'll put him in the maybe pile. Although he's been kind of banged up so far this year. All right, now it's time to get to the good stuff, and let's see if we can find that Dominguez. Nate Pearson's on the back. We've got Dane Dunning. There's a Brady Singer. That's a nice one. He's got a rookie card in 2021. Abraham Toro. Key Brian Hayes. How about that? That's a pretty nice pack right there. Of course, it's not his first, but the Key Brian Hayes for me is going to be in the top five. Brady Singer is going to be in the top five as well. And um, Nate Pearson, maybe. At least right now, he's going to maybe pile. 
So uh, poor Wander is probably not going to make it in the top five of this base. Hey, look, we've got a blue parallel coming up. Bryce Turing, Austin Beck, and it's Alex Kirillov. How about that? That is a great hit right there. Kirillov is uh, doing great stuff. By the way, kind of a fun little note. I sorted out all of the team breaks uh, for Diamond Kings. I had 15 Alex Kirilov base cards or framed cards in with the Minnesota Twins. 15. For other top rookies that I sleeved up, Joe Adele, there was, I think, four. Uh, Alec Baum, there was four. And Key Brian Hayes, there was 14, 13 or 14. So there might be a double print or a triple print of Kirilov in Diamond Kings along with Key Brian Hayes. Just kind of a little fun little side note. I don't know if that's going to impact value if people kind of figure that out eventually. Damon Jones and Chris Valamont. So, all right, the top five. I I got to go with Kirilov out of 150 is going to be the number one card for me from this. Well, you know what? Can't figure it out Bobby Witt either. I'm going to go with Bobby Witt slightly below at number two. I mean, it's a great card, but I think the Kirilov, since it's a mojo out of 150, that's going to be my number one card. Here's what else I've got. Um, I'm going to go with probably Byron Lohr at number three. Again, you can always refute this in the comment section. Let me know. I'm going to go with Key Brian Hayes at number four since it's not a first. Still a great card. And number five, I'm between Pearson and Singer, so I'm going to go with Singer. Uh, very good pitcher right there with the Kansas City Royals. So that's my top five. Now the question right now that we have is which box is in the lead? <clears throat> I'll tell you what. If I saw these two lined up at the card store as a lot, and they both had the same price tag, I think that we can agree. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I think I'm going with 2021, the top line, with all those Blaze Jordans in there. So we're down to our last one of the video. It's a 2019 Mega Box. And of course, you might recall back to 2019, Wander Mania. Everyone looking for Wander Franco, or Franco, depending on how you want to pronounce it. He pronounces it Franco, but a lot of Americans will Americanize the name and say Franco. Let's see what we can find in here. Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card looming as well. Vladdy Jr., you can see him on the front looming. Maybe we'll find him. 2019, an awesome, awesome year for cards all around. And here's our packs. All right, let's go ahead and put these off to the side. We'll save those for last. Let's do the base paper packs first. Uh, this was my pick for the winner, so... Let's see what we can do here. Ramon Laureano leads things off. That's a good card. Ryan Barucki. And Chance Adams, Justice Sheffield. Cedric Mullins. Can you believe it? Cedric Mullins is going in the maybe pile after all these years. Cedric Mullins was uh, kind of, uh, I don't want to say a bugaboo around here a couple years ago, but we pulled so many of his autographs. Just left and right, there's like two per case, it seemed like. that He got a little annoying, but now he's actually good. He got the best batting average on the Orioles. Not quite hitting like 360 anymore, but still right around 300, doing really good things. Glad he's having success. All right, there's Brent Rooker. We've got a crown of William Contreras. You've seen him in 2021 products. We've got a Chad Spanberger. Pete Alonzo, I used to call him Peter there, and Ryan Ryland Bannon first is the last one. So probably toss that one in the maybe pile. So far, nothing great from 2019, but there's four packs left. We will have an absolutely epic pack here coming up. That'll be pretty nice. Here's our veterans on the top. We got Keston Hira Chrome, Andrew Kneiser. I Knizer? How does he say his name? It's it's not is it, it's not Nizer, I think. I think he pronounces the K. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but it's Knizer, I think. I was pronouncing his name wrong for a while, and then I watched the Cardinals game, and they were saying it differently than I said it. I was like, whoops. Got to make a note of that. Here we go with the next, the last regular pack. DL, DJ Stewart, Rowdy Telez. Hey, we got a Mike Trout. Mike Trout's always good for the maybe pile, even if he is hurt. Marco Luciano, that's a nice one right there. That's going to be in the top five for sure. Christian Pache as well will make the top five. We got a Julio Pablo Martinez first and Darian Cruz. All right, so now we are going to be down to the, uh, the good stuff. This is it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching once again. I think 2021 is still firmly in the lead, personally. We've got Matt Manning, Franklin Perez. Can we find a... Wander. There's Aloy Jimenez. Nice card right there. Aloy Jimenez doesn't get the rookie card logo, though, but still a great card. And Matt Mercer is the last one. 
Matt Mercer first. Um, I guess I'll put McKenzie ready for the show in the top five as well. And here's our last pack, 2019 Mega. Very underwhelming to this point for me. We've got a Pete Alonso. Joe Adele, nice one right there. Joe Adele, of course, a top prospect. Jonathan Loisega. Ryland Bannon once again without the first designation. And Royce Lewis. All right, so... I don't know, guys. I think the 2021 with a big upset there ended up taking the, the uh, face-off Friday. Let me know what you think. But first, let me go ahead and lay out the cards here. Um, I'm going to go with probably uh, – do I go with Joe Adele or Luciano, number one? Yeah, we'll go with Adele, then Luciano Chrome. Then I'll go with um, – man, this is just – this is rough. Uh, I'll go with Aloy Jimenez. We didn't get – I guess I'll go with – Julio Pablo Martinez, four, and Pete Alonso, five, just because they're mojos. Uh, that's it. That was a rough, rough box. In fact, I think that 2019, despite being the most valuable box out of all of them, out of the three, was the worst box by far. I don't even think it's close. So I was wrong. Uh, that happens quite often. You get a box you think is going to be great, and then there's an upset, and we had an upset here today. I would rank this. This was the top. Number one, this was number two, this was number three. Let me know in the comments how you have them finishing. We've got 2021, 2020, 2019 in reverse order as being best to last. So the worst box, the $75 box, ended up being the best one with all those plays. Jordan, so now that's not going to happen in every box. Maybe you get lucky and find a bunch of Austin Martins and stuff like that. We just got a lucky box there. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check us out tomorrow. We'll have Saturday Showdown tier one for you guys and uh hoping we can find some really good stuff because we're doing the entire case of it in the saturday showdown have a great weekend everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow good night everybody